Hey guys, what's up? This is Pokemonzer, and welcome back to another Bucket Plugin tutorial. Um, and today we're doing a simple AFK plugin using an array list. So, what we're gonna do to start out, we have our AFK package, we have we have the Java project package, the class, and I already added the um, spigot jar. So this is bucket slash spigot plugin. It works on both. So get let's get started. So public class AFK extends Java plugin implements listener. So this is just saying that it's extending Java plugin and implementing listener. Um, there's not really much to describe it. Um, and then if you're wondering how I imported these without hovering over these and clicking on them, clicking on import, it's Command Shift O on Mac, Control Shift O on Windows, I believe. So the first thing that we're going to do is list string equals new list string AFKs equals new array list string. Import array list and import string java.util. Okay, so now we're going to create our on enable and on disable methods. And since we are implementing listener, we need to get server dot get plugin get plugin manager dot register events this this. So we're registering the events with the plugin manager and we really have no configuration file to save or anything so we can just leave the on disable blank. So now we're going to create our public boolean on command command cmd command sender sender string label string args return if label dot equals ignore case afk so if the player types slash afk then we're going to see we're going to check if the list of people who are afk has their name so if afks dot contains p dot get name then we're going to do some other stuff but you see there's a problem with p here so we're going to put player p equals player sender in order to initialize our p variable for player so if the list of afk people has their name and they type slash afk we're going to remove their name from the list so we're going to make them un AFK and we're going to broadcast the message chat color dot gray plus p dot get name plus is no longer AFK. Okay, so we just remove them from the AFK list, and we said in chat that they're no longer AFK. But if we want them to become AFK, so we're going to do else if AFKs does not contain p get name. And if you're wondering how I did the does not contain, uh, that's this exclamation mark right here, which negates the rest of the command. I mean the rest of whatever's after it, so it basically means if this doesn't have this. Okay, so if their list isn't in the uh, AFK list and they type slash AFK, then we're going to add their name to the AFK list, making them AFK, and we're going to bucket dot broadcast message chat color dot gray plus p dot get name plus is now AFK. So great, we've got our command set up. Um, so 
Now, we have a simple broadcast AFK function. But, if you want a player to be AFK, then they're not going to be able to move. At least that's how Essentials does it. So we're going to add that feature. So since we do have a listener class, at, we can tag at event handler, not tag it, annotate, annotation, uh, and then public void on move, player move event, e, import everything. And so what we're saying here is when the player moves, uh, this is the event of the player moving, so whenever the player moves, we're going to do what I'm just about to type here. So we're going to check if afks.contains e.getName. So if this player is afk, then we're going to, um, we want them not to be able to move. So once again, we have an error on the p variable, so we're going to establish that. So player p equals E dot get player this time because it's not on the on command. Then we're going to establish a few other variables. So we're going to need location location from equals e dot get from location to equals e dot get to. And we're going to import org dot bucket dot location. And uh, so they'll, we're just having unused right now, so we're going to use them. So if AFK contains p.getName, then we're going to, um, if, we're going to check if from dot distance. No, if from dot If from dot distance to no, if from dot distance from is greater than from no, oh, okay, I remember how to do this now. Okay, so okay, so double x equals from dot get x. Okay, we need to establish these in order to get the location. So double from x double from y equals from dot get y double from z equals from dot get z okay double 2x equals from equals 2 dot get x double 2y equals 2 dot get y and lastly double 2z equals 2 dot get z Okay, so now in our if statement, we're going to check if from x is greater than 2x or if from or, oh, no if, or if from y is greater than 2y or if from z is greater than 2z. Or if from x is less than 2x, or if from y is less than 2y, or if from z is less than 2z, then we're going to do whatever we're doing here. So we're basically saying that if um, if the player moves one block, so the from location is where they started out in the event, and the to location is where they moved to. So if they move into a greater x, y, or z, or a smaller x, y, and z, so if they move a block, then we're going to um, so then we're going to p dot teleport. From. So this prohibits their movement, and then um, just to add else if afks dot does not contain p dot get name, then we're just gonna return. 
Oh, there we go. So now we have our plugin, and it's 100% working. Um, so we're going to export this and jar file next. So users, downloads, um, and then we're going to name this afk.jar. Then we need to select the entire um, class path and project. But this is how you would export it. However, we forgot something. So we need to create a new file called plugin.yml, which I went over in the last video. And we're going to open it with text editor. So there are three things that we need to have in a plugin.yml. Name, version, and main. And we can add a few other things too, but the name is AFK. Version, let's just make it 1.0. Author, Token Monster, website, pc.com, Monster. Okay, so this main is the most important thing. Me.pokemonster.afk.afk. So this is saying that the main, uh, it, it, the class that extends Java plugin, the main class, is called, is in the package, me.pokemonster.afk, and it's called AFK. So that's the most important thing in the plugin.yml. So we're going to, so I apologize, we did forget one thing in our plugin.yml, and that is commands, so we, we need to register the command AFK, otherwise it's just going to say unknown command. So we're going to go ahead and export that again, and override, um, yeah, override it, and we'll be back with in-game. Okay, so we're back with in-game footage of the AFK plugin. So, um... And just a heads up also, I just added a little asterisk in front of the AFK message to match um, Essentials message in a way. So uh, so if we type AFK, Pokemon Zero is now AFK, can't move. But it's not like spammy, can't move if we just canceled that event. So AFK, no longer AFK, and I can move around. So now we're, I'm going to show you guys how to publish your project to Bucket Dev. Okay, so the first step for publishing your project is to go to dev.bucket.org. Then you want to register an account or sign in if you have an account. Okay, so um, we're going to create project, create a bucket plugin. Plug, bucket plugin name AFK AFK okay custom so we're going to choose an all rights reserved license and we're going to so going back to this license thing so these uh, so the all rights reserved license means that people can't modify the source of your plugin or they can't um, claim that it's their own or use it in any way that isn't just on their server without modifying it and basically all of these licenses all of these licenses down here let people do whatever they want to your plugin so we're gonna do all rights reserved just for the case of this so uh, AFK tutorial because AFK is probably taken. Okay, so custom license text. We don't need that because we didn't make a custom license. Primary category, chat related. Secondary categories, admin tools, uh, general, informational. That's about it. Okay. English. Summary. AFK plugin made in a bucket plugin tutorial. Brief description of your plugin. So this is where you want to go really in-depth about your plugin if you want people to really download it. But for the sake of this tutorial, we're just going to do some um, simple stuff. So have you ever wanted to have essentials without having essentials? 
Have you ever wanted something simple for AFK? AFK is your solution. With one command, AFK will resolve. So, we're going to do commands and slash AFK sets the user as AFK if the user isn't AFK, sets the user as not AFK if the user is AFK. Broad casts the message to the server. Commands, permissions, we didn't add any, so we're going to do none. Uh, and then we're going to do um, features, lightweight, simple messages, and easy, and simple messages, user-friendly, one command, um, user can't move when AF. So, tested and works with latest craft bucket build. Download today. And then we would click create. And that's how you publish your bucket plugin to, um, Bucket Dev for other people to download. So thank you for watching this video. I know it's been kind of long, but it's um, it's just sort of worth it. So anyways, um, thank you for watching, and I'll see you guys later. Peace. We can make it through. We've not yet run out of options. We'll find a way to be. Send the call out, send the call out, send the call out, send the call out.